What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix a super common issue with the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition mouse. Well, at least decrease the issue. Now that issue being with the Philips Twin Eye Sensor, when you lift the mouse and place it down, there's sort of a little hop, as you can see right there. There's a little bit of a jitter. Now you might be looking at that and saying, wow, that's nothing compared to what my Razer Mamba does. Mine is such a huge, it's like a huge leap like this. It's like flying all over the screen. Well, that's because technically the way I have it right now with just this very minor jump is the uh, quote unquote fixed state of this mouse. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this and uh, this worked for me. Hopefully it works for you since you know you have the same mouse. So go to your Razer Synapse, just open that. Either open it from your task manager or search it in Windows or something. Make sure you get to it. Go to your Razer Mamba mouse, click on calibration and then make sure that enable surface calibration is disabled. Now, when you come here, if it's enabled, then uh, just make sure you disable it. Now, if, it's, if you come here and it's already disabled, simply enable it and then add a mat. Same goes if it was disabled or, or enabled already. If it, okay, let's back up a little bit. I wanna give you guys clear instructions. So, when you go to the calibration tab, if you already have a mouse mat selected and calibrated, simply restart the mouse by holding left, right, and middle mouse button, disabling the mouse, or disabling the uh, mouse pad, or you know, disabling the calibration, and make sure that your liftoff rate is changed to something, doesn't matter, just make sure it's not one, or just make sure it's not one, just make sure you change it to something, and uh, then reset your mouse. That should fix it. Now, if it's not calibrated, it's gonna come over here, enable it, calibrate your mat. If you have a razor mat, just choose one. Uh, if you don't have a razor mat, then just add your current mouse mat, all you have to do is calibrate it. Pretty, sim pretty uh, similar calibration process. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure you either add your mouse mat or add your current Razer mouse mat. Change the lift off range to something, and then reset your mouse by holding the left, right, and middle. So I'm going to go and do that. As you can see, after holding it down for five seconds, it sort of flicker flickers and then goes gray. And that's that's how I fixed it. After I uh, came after I came out of that. As you can see, that jump is very minor for me. Now, to simulate what you guys are getting, to show you guys how my mouse was before, I'm going to go and re-enable it and add my mat again. So, so to be clear, I'm demonstrating the issue. So, do not do this again. Just, you know, after you, after you disable it and everything, you're done. I'm just showing you guys how it was before. So, let me calibrate my mat real quick. There we go. Now that my mouse mat has changed, I actually am having a little bit of tracking issues. Um, I would, if I shake my mouse around, it's, it might not be noticeable to you guys, but for me, it kind of feels like the mouse sort of gets stuck at points. And sometimes I'll try and move my mouse, you know, to the right or left, and it'll kind of go up or kind of go down. It's, it's just kind of weird whenever you calibrate a mat. It just seems like it's really weird. And when I lift off, I have a much bigger jump, as you can see right there much, much more intrusive while playing video games. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that by resetting the mouse. Boom, there we go. And now it's not even close to as bad. Let me do this, there we go. As you can see, that jump is much smaller. So it's not, you know, a, a be all end all fix or anything. It's not, a, you know, a, a permanent, well, it's permanent, but you know, it doesn't fix the sensor entirely. It just makes the issue much less intrusive and makes it much more usable. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If it did, please be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends if they're having the same issue, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.